Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Mo and this is my digital journal. If you're another star, then I'm so I understand that for anyone that is a returning subscriber or anyone that's been watching any of the videos that I put out, you know the channel as the hiatus or the hiatus or whatever. Uh, it is, that is still very much a part of the channel, but right now it's just a category of it. I just wanted to create a space where I'm able to share my views on it, all the things that I'm interested in and I'm very interested in fashion. So. I've decided to add that. Before we get started, please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and to share the link as well and to follow me on my socials. Uh, you can follow me at mudlazi.tosaho or Fash by Mo or the hiatus, whichever one you want to follow and just join the journey of or be part of the journey for that. And also make sure to check out my website where I post blog posts relating to the videos that I do drop. So yeah, let's get into it. I have to constantly make sure that the video is focusing. But anyway, for today's segment, I am going to be discussing, I think, three categories of must-have accessories for your wardrobe in order for you to be able to just um, mix and match and create new outfits and all that. So yeah, three categories. We're going to be focusing on headwear, we're going to be focusing on jewelry, and I'm going to be also focusing on belts. So yeah, let's get into it without talking too much. Okay, so to start us off, we're going to go into different types of jewelry. So for the different types of jewelry, I've decided to focus on warm or golden jewelry, which gives off a warm aesthetic, silver jewelry, which gives off an icy aesthetic, and then we're going to go into porcelain jewelry or shells. And what else was the, what was the third one? The third was, so I have my laptop here, so I'm just going to keep looking down at it and all that. Yeah. So porcelain is usually the type of jewelry that looks like, um, I'd say, it looks like glass. When you look at it, it looks like glass. It gives off this glass aesthetic or tile or whatever. That's porcelain aesthetic, um, porcelain jewelry. And then we have the shells, which is like your, those beach shells. I forgot what they're called. And the pearls, which are, I think everybody knows what pearls are. Pearls and shells usually go well with gold so it can be a mixture of it being like pearls and some gold jewelry it, it usually looks very good with each other and by gold and warm so gold jewelry we have what i would like to focus on most is like your chunky jewelry but also dainty jewelry is very cute i think it's very doable but dainty jewelry is for when you want the outfit to be central focus whereas with more chunky jewelry it's like okay look at my outfit but also look at my jewelry you get what I'm saying so yeah we have gold jewelry it gives off a warm aesthetic I've realized I'm usually a silver jewelry type of person but with having braided my hair I realized that gold looks better with it so so this is with the silver earrings I think like there's something a little bland about silver earrings especially now that I've um braided my hair the gold. I just want to see, so this is me with the gold earrings, it looks very nice, very classy, very chill. You know how Saweetie always says icy, icy, so I think silver gives off that aesthetic like icy, so, so yeah, these are the different types. I said pearls go well with gold, so here are some examples of gold going well with pearls or pearls going well with gold and then the second category is our headwear so for headwear i am going to be going into it very much so first for starters we have five panel caps i don't know if you follow me on instagram but i have been doing this look a lot lately i am obsessed with five panel caps i think they're like this beautiful mixture between like a straight cap and a baseball cap you just got this like very cool like five panel so here are some examples we have some from nike with sa brands i think you can find one with broke broke definitely has five panel caps i think they're the ones who got me into liking it we also have art club i'm not sure if art club has five panel caps but they definitely sell cool things i'm obsessed um and then we have berets or barrettes 
or whatever you call it at church but berets yeah berets are very cool i haven't gotten into wearing them outside of church but i definitely think berets are extremely 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 cool yes berets are very cool you can wear them with leather an all leather outfit okay so to continue where i'd left off i am struggling so much because i don't have much space on my memory stick i need to buy a new one so if you realize that there's like differences in the audio and the um angles and stuff like that is it is because of that but anyway let's continue i was still speaking about babushkas and headscarf or scarves i have examples right here of the fashion god himself mr uh, ASAP Rocky. Okay, he's not the fashion god, I mean, but he is Mr. Fashion himself, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, we have ASAP who rocks a babushka from time to time. He doesn't care. He loves it. And I love the fact that he loves it because I love it, you know? We have that. We have um, Mr. Tyler, the creator, or they. He wears... or they. Why do I keep saying he? Tyler, the creator, rocks a scarf like nobody ever does. They rock it around their neck. I've never seen Tyler wear a headscarf as a babushka. I thought I had. It seems like something that they would do, so definitely that. And then the third category is belts. We have different types of belts. We have chain belts. We have regular leather belts with buckles. And we have the last belt, which is just a... Okay, yeah, I only did two category, two types of belts. I did the regular belts with the buckles, which are usually, the buckle is usually the detail, the center focus of the belt. And then we have golden belts or chain belts. That's my favorite. I was wearing one the other day. I bought that in 2019, probably, when I went shopping with my mom. And it's a beautiful accessory to have, especially if you feel like your outfit is bland or anything like that. I just hope I am focused because if I'm not, then it is a mess, isn't it? But yeah, I think that's all I have. I hope that the visuals make sense. I hope that they inspire you to create outfits. And I think that's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below of which accessory you think you would add to your wardrobe and share the video please and please just leave a bunch of tips on how i can improve my videos but that is it for today i hope you guys enjoyed the video and you read the blog post i don't know which one has more detail the video or the blog post but i'm going to try and just make sure that there's something worth gaining from each of them so yeah that's all i have don't forget to follow me on my instagram that's it bye guys